Hello and welcome to this tutorial about C++. C++ was developed by Bjorn Stroestrup in the early 80s at AT&T Bell Laboratories and is nothing but a superset of the C language. Now let's jump right in here and look at this first program. Uh, that's a remark at the top, it gets ignored by the compiler. These are preprocessors. They add uh, libraries to, the, to be used by the program. Now, main is a function that is in every C program, or C++ for that matter, uh, and here is uh, a function being used that, that prints those words into the console, and every instruction ends with a semicolon. This waits for a key to be pressed, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, hello world. Very simple program. Uh, we'll move on here uh, to GCalc. This is a calculator for arithmetic and trigonometry. Um, here at the top there's a remark, uh, preprocessors. Um, and because um, these preprocessors have functions in them which are used by the program, uh, there's a declaration of a double floating, three du double point, double floating point numbers. Um, and ca uh, character for the operator. And at the top, they enter a number, they enter a, an operator, and uh, if they're using one of these uh, later operators, then they don't need to enter a second number. And it goes through and gets the square root, the cos, sine, uh, and um, that type of thing. And with these, there's a string comparison of the operator to this thing here. So if that was in their string, it'll go ahead and uh, work that out. This actually might should be tan, by the way. So I'll have to go ahead and save that and and put tan in here and save it again. Um, and here's just the arithmetic down the bottom here, so yeah. Uh, compile, run, um, 64, square root is 8, um, 45 degrees, cos is that, and 45 degrees sine should be the same thing. All right. Now we'll look at a different program. Um, guessing game. This is a fun little thing. Um, it it just gets the user to put in a range for a number, a magic number, and then it gets gets them to guess it. And this thing here starts the randomization. This uh, generates the random number. And um, down here there's a loop uh, while their guess does not equal the magic number and once their guess does equal the magic number it says you got it in count that's a variable so it's whatever n number of guesses they had guesses and then there's an end line and it waits for a character to be pressed here and returns zero to the operating system so compile run I put in 10, uh, 5, 7, 9. I got it in three guesses. We'll just quickly run that again to show that it is random. Uh, 10, 5. I got it in one guess, so that's a pretty good score. Um, now, uh, leap year. This um, demonstrates. Uh, the use of uh, functions in the code. Um, so with the, these functions are defined up here. Then there's uh, the preprocessor declarations. There's only a couple of them here. Um, and here is the main function. And then it calls century calc and regular calc uh, depending on whether their year was divisible by 100 um, and if their uh, 
year did not equal zero then it goes back to the top and repeats um, but here's the regular calc uh, function and it uh, gives them feedback about whether it's you know a leap year or not and there's actually a little bit of complication in leap years because uh, it's only 400 years that the a year ending with two zeros is a leap year so compile run uh, 1899 uh, 1900 isn't a leap year uh, 1999 isn't a leap year but 2000 is uh, and I'll enter this year 2012 and that's a leap year so zero uh, list um, this uh, lists the contents of a text file or uh, pretty much any file onto the screen like it could be source code and I'll give an example of that in a sec um, but here's the re remark some preprocessors um, characters uh, defined there I mean uh, uh, declared there sorry and here's the main function uh, enter a file to list and then they put in a file name and if it doesn't exist then there's an error and uh, return one to the operating system and this goes through and puts the text file into the console and uh, press any key to exit and get character uh, and return zero down at the bottom there so uh, compile run uh, put in uh, gcalc the, the program that we looked at before so it should display the source code and there it is but the good thing about uh, Windows is um, you can use this scroll bar here at the side you, could, you couldn't do this in DOS uh, and you could go back and sort of peruse the program as such so yeah um, running average this is a great beginners program because it's fairly simple and it's easy to understand uh, at the top there's a remark you know just saying what the program is what it's for and my website uh, one preprocessor uh, an integer for the count and a double floating point for three of the things which are used in the calculations uh, main function puts the name on the screen and then uh, this instructions here enter a number or minus one to stop then it inputs the user number uh, count has one added to it now that plus plus there is just shorthand for count equals count plus one uh, total equals total well it, it, it adds the input to the total then the answer is the total divided by the count which we've been keeping track of up here um, and then it see out the answer uh, and end the line and uh, this this is all happening while uh, the user was uh, greater than or equal to zero and returned a value to the operating system so we'll compile it run it um, 10 20 should be 15 uh, 0 back to 10 0 7.5 minus 1 to stop um, triangle area so this uh, works out the area of various different kinds of triangles uh, now obviously you know what this is already and what these do take note though that we've got to use maths header because um, there's sign down here uh, and console input output dot h for this uh, get ch uh, open parenthesis close parenthesis um, uh, there's de declarations uh, it gets their their measurements here and then converts the degrees to radians 
and then works out the area of the triangle uh, based on those radians and that's uh, pretty much all it does so we'll compile run uh, 10 10 90 degree angle should be 50 and there it is okay unit converter um, so this stuff is just pretty you know you've heard about that already I won't repeat myself um, declarations now it puts this big menu onto a screen onto the screen here and asks them what type of conversion they want here with the CN um, and if it wasn't one of those numbers then it just uh, terminates the program using return zero um, see out asks for the measurement uh, and inputs it using C in there. Now all this stuff here uh, does a calculation and uh, stores it in result um, and then the result is printed onto the screen and it says press any key to continue uh, and then the program loops until uh, they, they enter something which isn't valid or whatever um, so compile run uh, Fahrenheit to Celsius uh, 90 degrees is 32.2 .2 repeater degrees um, 1 inch to centimeter 2 inches is 5.08 centimeters okay here are some books I would recommend about C++ there's the first one here's another one and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching if you need source code visit my website bye